Hello everybody, it's your friendly neighborhood Godzilla fan, Jurassiczilla here, back at it again with another video. In this video, I'm going to be talking about how Monster X could work in the Monsterverse, but this is going to be part one of part two of this little series that I'm going to do. So first, in this video, I'm going to be talking about Monster X, but tomorrow I'm going to make a second video talking about Kaiser Ghidorah. Because I know, in Godzilla Final Wars, Monster X turns into Kaiser Ghidorah. But for the sake of the Monsterverse, and the fact that we already have Ghidorah in the Monsterverse, we're just going to say that Monster X does not turn into Kaiser Ghidorah. So I'm going to do two separate videos. This one's going to be just about Monster X, and the next one is just going to be about Kaiser Ghidorah. But anyways, I'm Jurassiczilla, and let's get right into the video, shall we? Just your friendly neighborhood Godzilla fan. So, Monster X. I don't have a Monster X figure. The only thing of Monster X I have is a keychain and it's over there and I'm not getting it. But Monster X is one of those confusing guys because it doesn't really have much of an origin. We know that in Godzilla Final Wars, the Exilians summoned Monster X to fight Godzilla and he came from a meteor. But we don't know where that meteor came from. We don't know where the Exilians got Monster X from. We don't know if the Exilians created Monster X or if they found him on another planet. So we don't really know much about Monster X. But it does make it easier for me because now I get to make up a new origin for Monster X. And also, I feel like if Monster X had to join the Monsterverse, then the Exilians would also have to join. <laughs> So now you gotta think of Monster X and the Exilians and how both of them could work in the Monsterverse. So for a while, I'm first gonna talk about the Exilians and then I'll talk about Monster X. So first, why would the Exilians come down to Earth? Would you have this same old story again where the aliens wanna take over the planet? Because that's been done so many times, so you might wanna change it up a bit. Maybe the Exilians want to go down to Earth because the Earth has hollow Earth energy. And maybe the Exilians want this hollow Earth energy to take for themselves. In the past movies, the Exilians have always been aliens that take human form. So I think in the Monsterverse, it would be very safe to keep that. So the Exilians are coming down to Earth in their flying saucers. And they're transforming into humans so none of the other people notice. The humans aren't able to sense any danger, but Godzilla is. Godzilla senses energy being taken away. He goes down in the Hollow Earth to investigate, only to find humans taking the Hollow Earth energy. Although, they aren't humans. They are the Exilians. But Godzilla isn't able to tell that they're aliens. So then they go away with the Hollow Earth energy, and leaving Godzilla to believe that the humans were the one who took the energy. And we all know what happens when Godzilla gets mad. Godzilla then goes out, killing people! But he doesn't realize that humans weren't the cause of this. It was the Exilians. And the humans start thinking that Godzilla is turning evil again. And the Exilians use this to their advantage. They realize that if we make it so that Godzilla thinks the humans are causing all this trouble, Godzilla will kill the humans and the Exilians will be able to take over. The Exilians then go out and steal more Hollow Earth energy. Maybe they even harm Godzilla in human form, so Godzilla thinks that the humans are the ones causing all of this. Godzilla gets furious and he starts killing people, destroying cities, turning evil yet again. And the humans see Godzilla destroying their cities, and of course they're just gonna fight back. Godzilla doesn't realize that this is all a setup so the Exilians can wipe out the people on Earth. But then eventually, the humans catch on to all this trouble, and they realize that aliens are causing this. Aliens disguised as people. And it would be pretty hard to convince Godzilla. You can't just walk up to Godzilla and say, Hey, you see those people over there? They're actually aliens. Go kill them. That's not how Godzilla works. 
So I'm going to skip a whole entire part here, but let's just say that the humans do end up somehow finding a way to tell Godzilla that those are aliens, and he needs to get those aliens off this planet. And that's where you introduce Monster X. The Exilians have created this big monster, possibly even stronger than Godzilla himself. And they realize that their little secret invasion plan isn't going to work anymore, so they just need to send their own monster down to kill Godzilla. And in terms of design, I feel like Monster X's design should just stay the same like how it did in Godzilla Final Wars, because I don't think there's really much you need to change. So now let's talk about how this fight scene would go. Godzilla shoots his atomic breath at Monster X. Monster X blocks it. Monster X punches Godzilla right in the face, knocking him down. Godzilla realizes that Monster X is so much more powerful than him, so he calls down Kong, Rodan, Behemoth, Mothra, and the humans go with Mecha Godzilla to help as well. They all fight Monster X, but Monster X is so powerful. And then Destroyer rises out the water, out of nowhere. And then Space Godzilla comes down from space, and Space Godzilla is actually Monster X's brother. They all fight together in this one big epic battle. And then Doug comes in. Yeah, the little Hollow Earth lizard. Doug comes in and one shots all of the villains. Doug is the new king of the monsters. Okay, no, 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 that, that's too much. We're not doing that, okay? We're not adding destroy or anything like that. No, no. Okay, so realistically, maybe Godzilla would fight Monster X. Godzilla would realize that Monster X is a lot more powerful than him. And maybe instead of Kong coming in or any other Titan, maybe the humans actually work with Godzilla very well this time. Like, the humans have this whole magical thing, maybe like the Gotengo or something, and they actually help Godzilla defeat Monster X. So then the Exilians are defeated. They decide to go back to their home planet. But, one small little thing. Since the aliens are able to transform into humans, some of the Exilians decide to stay on Earth in secret. Study the humans, study the Titans, so one day in the future they can strike and invade again. So that's my whole little theory of how Monster X could work in the Monsterverse. Now yet again, this video isn't trying to say how a Godzilla vs. Monster X movie could work. I'm just trying to say that if Monster X were to join the Monsterverse, you gotta keep him as an alien, keep him relatively the same design, and you gotta have the Exilians as well. Now, in terms of a movie plot, maybe you can come up with something different. Maybe they don't need the Hollow Earth energy. Maybe they're just trying to evade Earth. I don't know. But I think the Exilians coming down to take the Hollow Earth energy would make a lot of sense. I mean, they're aliens. They want as much energy and power as they can get so they can take over the world. But this is going to be the end of part one. And tomorrow, part two will come out where I talk about Kaiser Ghidorah. Yet again, I don't have a Kaiser Ghidorah figure either. So, yikes. But anyways, let me know in the comments what you guys think of this. Do you want to see Monster X in the Monsterverse? Do you think Monster X even needs to be in the Monsterverse? Because personally, I don't really think Monster X needs to join in. He's one of those kaiju where it worked really well in Godzilla Final Wars, and you don't really need to have him in in another movie. Just my opinion, though. But also, if you want Monster X in the Monsterverse, let me know what type of movie do you want from them. Do you want a Monster X solo movie? Do you want a Godzilla vs. Monster X movie? Or do you want to just have a Godzilla movie where Monster X just comes down at the end of the movie? So please let me know in the comments, and hopefully this video was good because I just kind of woke up this morning and was like, hmm. I'm gonna make a Monster X Theory video and just kind of started talking in front of the camera, so it's not really organized, but uh, yeah, if you like it, make sure to subscribe if you want, and as always, have a great Godzilla day.